Hi everyone, this is Srinivas from Amirpet Technologies. In this video, I am going to explain about Lambda expression in Java. See, first of all, so what is Lambda expression? The simple answer, easy implementation. The easiest implementation of a functional interface. We already discussed what is functional interface. Functional interface is an interface which consists only one abstract method. So let me write one functional interface and in how many ways we can implement and what is the simplest way to implement the functional interface. Here we are writing one functional interface using annotation called functional interface annotation. Functional interface. We are just writing that interface is a test which contains only one abstract method only one specification of course any number of static and default methods we can define here i am defining one method called just void fun one method i define in how many ways we can implement this functional interface see the most common way of implementing the functional interface so what is that most common way we are taking one class taking one class so let me take the class name is a demo which is implementing implementing the interface the functional interface consider test we know that if any class is implementing from the interface the interface has to override the specification by default it is public so we are defining as a public void fun this method we are defining and any logic you can define inside this is implementation and how can we access means what suppose i am taking one more class suppose is a main class which contains the main method i am just writing that void main inside that i am creating object for the implemented class new demo but we are giving that reference is an interface reference what is that interface test test interface reference test obj and simply we call obj dot so what is that method we define fun this is the simplest way of accessing implementing the functional interface and accessing the functionality whenever there is an interface which contains the specifications nothing but abstract methods we are using one class with the help of class we are implementing that interface inside that we are overriding all abstract methods as of now it is a functional interface so which consists only one abstract method so we are overridden after that if you want to access the rule is what whenever you are creating object for the implemented class we are giving the reference type is a interface type upcasting concept and here we are accessing the functionality this is the first way and this is the regular way the second way is what mostly the functional interfaces we are implementing with anonymous inner classes we are not using this extra class so directly how can we implement using anonymous inner class so let me take one class this is the main class which contains the main method just void main void main now i am creating object of this test creating object of test test obj equals to new test directly i am creating object of test but what is test test is an interface can you instantiate interface directly can you create object for interface directly impossible but see not ending with a semicolon don't write the semicolon you should write body for this one so body starts that body ends this is what anonymous implementation so in this implementation inside what we are writing we are overriding this test how can we overwrite public void fun public void fun inside that you can write the logic this is what anonymous implementation 
here directly we are instantiating the interface with the body anonymous body once the statement is ready then we can call obz dot that method which is defined inside we can call this is main close and this is class closed this is the second way instead of implementing the interface separately using another class we are implementing inside the method not only in main method in any method you can implement the functionality of interface we can use it this is called anonymous implementation but since jdk 8 we can more simply implement the anonymous i mean the functional interface using the lambda expression sir how see they removed this new and they removed this constructor call they removed this public access modifier they removed this return type and they removed this name also the easiest way look at this in the same way we are writing the class class main class main and inside that we are defining the main method inside the main method i am creating the object test obj equals to the removed all only just that function parenthesis the method parenthesis we need to specify parenthesis just with one arrow mark and the body you have to define open brace just body and this is the closing brace this is the way we are writing is completed this is called lambda expression this is an object because this is an object and this is an object it is also object so in interviews they will ask what is lambda expression lambda expression is an object it is the implementation of functional interface that's why that object reference you are collecting into a variable which is of type what interface type so same story we can access obj dot fun this is the simple way of implementing a functional interface using lambda expression this is the syntax of lambda expression how can we implement right functional interface using lambda expression but in how many ways we can write the lambda expression which is taking arguments which is returning the values and all we'll see in the next video hope you understood thank you all